Welcome to Everyone's a Millionaire podcast. What did you do? What was your main strategies um, that you had used to achieve a net worth of a million or more? Yeah. So my predominant strategy, and again, those that are listening, um, as I'm talking, I'm going to come from a place of the guy who also not only made it, but lost it all and in process of, of rebuilding what I lost. So some of the things I'm going to share with you are thinking that I had at the time, but also I feel like the value today is to share as I look back and reflection, um, how some of my methodologies and, and philosophies, um, I would have done differently. So there's going to be a lot of value around that. So my predominant focus was to build wealth through businesses um, and to build wealth through cash flow. So uh, throughout my uh, time, um, there were points where I was running about three companies at a time. And my mindset at the time was just to continue to increase cash flow, take whatever capital that I was making and double down into the businesses and continue to grow them and get basically to a certain point of cash flow in seven figures. And then at that point to really begin to think, okay, once the cash flow is at that level, um, then I'll reinvest it into particular types of investments that I'm interested in. So it was all about business and cash flow. The challenge that I ran into that was I created a win then trap. So when I get to this particular financial level and I have all my businesses where they want, not just from a cash flow standpoint, but it was also like getting, you know, kind of out of the uh, operational box and more into the owner's box. So I think a lot listening really get caught up in that dream, right? Getting to that place to be freed from that. Um, but the challenge I had was running on that when then trap, um, the net, the then never came um, because I, ran into catastrophe. And I think the first thing that I would say that I learned is that things will occur that you never expected to happen. I love the quote, things that never happen, happen all the time. <laughs> and for me, in a nutshell, the most extreme thing happened that I never in my wildest dreams could have perceived and basically in a nutshell, I had an adverse effect to a medication and that went on for seven months. And in that seven months, I was unable to function and I lost all my businesses because of an inability to be able to function. Now, if you were to go back and ask me years ago, you know, like this is why I had multiple businesses. Well, maybe one will go down, but I'm not going to lose all three. But I never perceived that basically if I went down, I could lose all three. So the focus was on protecting myself from the businesses and having a variety, but um, it went the other way. I went down. Man, Moore's Law, right? What was that quote again? Say that quote again for me. Things that never happen, happen all the time. Things that you can never perceive to happen or think will happen. Like COVID, but stuff yeah. like that, even I though like it's new. Things continue to happen like that. They just show up in different forms. So. And it happens all the time. Dude, thank you for sharing that. Yeah.